Hi friends, hope everyone is good. In this video, we can see how to enable the secure boot and UEFI boot. In this thing, we can see the boot menu here. A LAN boot is enabled, a NVMe that the SSD boot is enabled, and the Windows boot manager is available. Actually, it is not booting because the in this this is a Exxon Carbon laptop. Mm the uefi boot and the secure boot is disabled so let's see how to enable that thing here i will show if i change to the storage then whether it will boot or not okay it is trying to boot okay it is not trying it not able to boot so i am rebooting the laptop alt control delete That time we got a normal press enter. Okay, so F1 to enter the BIOS setup utility. I'm entering F1. I think it's start for the boot menu. Okay, from here we can see a lot of options main, config, date and time, security. Okay. First, we'll show how to enable the secure boot. Inside the security tab, we can use the down arrow. Here, the secure boot we can select. I select the secure boot. And here, we can see it is disabled. So, click the enter key. So, it will show the options. Here, I am selecting the disable to enable. To start settings, also change as follows. If I need to change the secure boot to be enabled, it will be work on UEFI boot only, UEFI or legacy boot. So, okay, are you sure to change the settings? Yes, I'm entering the settings. Okay, now the secure boot is enabled. So, I need to change the values and actually I need to go back. Again, I need to change the boot options. Now the security, Inside the security, secure boot is enabled. Then I need to go to the startup. From the startup option, okay, that also it's changed. It's a UEFI only that is selected to UEFI only. If I want to select the here both or something like that, then again I need to go to the security option. I will show that thing on the secure boot if it is disabled. Okay, now the secure boot is disabled and I am going to back side, back menu, main menu. Here if I go to the startup, then I can change the UEFI legacy boot to either I can change to both or will so either I can change to both or UEFI only or legacy only. Only in the case I can select this if the secure boot is disabled if the secure boot is enabled then i can select uefi boot only actually my requirement is here i need to boot the windows 10 so no windows 10 is not using so windows 10 was working on the uefi boot boot mode so i i so i need the secure mode on so i am going back to the previous menu in the security tab I am going to the secure boot here I am changing the option disabled to enable see what happens the startup settings also change it will automatically change the startup settings in some uh, bio settings it will not do the automatic settings so we need to go back to the uh, startup options and we need to do it manually here I am checking S. Yes. This is the Exxon Carbon laptop and the BIOS is everything is updated. That's why it is automatically changed the options. For some laptops or desktops, it don't do automatically. We need to change it manually. As I mentioned, here I am pressing the escape to go back. Then I am going to the startup option. Here I need to in the UEFI legacy here. I can't able to select that option because the BIOS is automatically doing that thing. So now if it, it is done, 
and then I need to press the F10 key. Save configuration changes and exit now. Yes, I'm clicking. Yes. Let's see it is booting or not. Okay. To interrupt normal startup, press and uh, I change the secure boot to enabled and the boot mode to UEFI boot. Actually, this laptop is a superb laptop X1 Carbon. Now the OS is loading. Come on. Hope it is loading up. Yes. Now the system is loading up earlier we got an error that need we need to select the boot device in this way we need to enable the secure boot as well as the uefi boot thanks a lot of watching thanks a lot have a nice day stay safe thank you